Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, our problem for today, a reinforced concrete beam has a width of 300 millimeters and an effective depth of 618 millimeters. Okay, the compressive reinforcement uh, if required will be placed at D prime 60 mm. Uh, where F prime C is 25 MPa and F Y is 415 MPa. The beam is to support a factor bending moment of 520 kilonewton, and by using NACP 2015, uh, calculate the steel ratio for balance section and determine the governing steel ratio. Solve for the required area. Okay, this is a, this is table. No, this area of steel reinforcement. Number four is determine the minimum number of 25 mm diameter bars required as tension reinforcement and determine the maximum not same uh, number of 25 mm diameters required as tension reinforcement. Okay, so let us solve first the first required, right? Number one, uh, the required is the row balance. Okay, so we have formula for row balance is 0 0.85 uh, F prime C, right, over Fy times uh, beta 1 times 600 over 600 plus Fy. Okay, boom. Okay, so for our beta one, okay, uh, this these parameters are known, and uh, for balance section, uh, we use uh, the Fy right for fifteen, so known. So uh, we will be solving for B one. B one is since F prime uh, F prime C is twenty five MPa, so it is uh, less than uh, twenty eight. Uh, therefore, our beta prime is zero point eighty five. Okay, right. So row balance is now. 0 0.85 times 25 all over 415 times 0 0.85 times 600 plus 600 plus 415, right? Okay, our row balance is 0 0.0257, right? 0 0.025728. Number two, determine the governing steel ratio. Okay, we have our number two. Uh, let us solve for the row, no? By using MU, we, we can get the RN. We get the row. Yes. Okay. So MU is given. Now we can stop here. MU is given. We can solve for RN. Then we can no, do such these things. And for number three, we can solve for a yes. Okay. Given that our MU is five. RN is MU over phi BD squared, right? So five twenty. Sorry, it should be five twenty. No. Uh, convert this to newton mm times 10 to the 6th all over phi is 0 0.9 for uh, flexure design next is b our b is 300 and effective depth is 618 this is squared our value for rn will be 5.0427 newton per mm squared okay so we can proceed now in solving our raw our raw raw is 0 0.85 f prime c all over Oh no, Fy times 1 minus the square root of 1 minus 2 Rn over 0 0.85 F minus C. Okay, next, substitute all values. So rho is 0 0.85 of 25, right, over 415 times 1 minus the square root of 1 minus 2 times 5, ah, dang, 5.0427 extends 1 all over 0 0.85 of 25. Our raw is 0 0.01409. Okay. Uh, let us check now if our raw is in between the raw minimum and raw balance. But for sure, uh, our raw is more than the minimum. Okay. So let's compare for the raw max. Raw max is raw max is 0 0.85 f prime c all over f y beta one times three over eight. Right. Our raw max is by substituting. 0 0.85 times 25 all over 415 times 0 0.85 of 3 over 8 if i'm not mistaken but for sure our raw max is 0 0.016321 no so therefore uh raw minimum i no 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 sorry raw minimum is less than our raw but our raw is less than the raw max okay so therefore our raw governs right so this should be the Answer for number two. This would be the governing steel ratio. Next question, solve for the required area. Okay, by using our raw, the required steel area should be zero. Sorry, let's introduce the, the formula first. Raw is equals to area of steel over area of concrete. 
So 0 0.01409 is close to the area of the steel all over 300 area of concrete times the effective depth of how much was that? Uh, 618 over 618, right? So area of steel, 326, 2612.286 mm squared, okay? Check. So number four, determine the minimum, okay? When we say the minimum, it is the number of steel, no? That is the minimum, meaning we are going to use the raw because it is our calculated uh, ratio no? of area of steel and the concrete, okay? Number four, so area of steel, okay? This one, so this will be uh, area of steel should be equals to the pi over four times the bar diameter, no? Bars times the number of bar. Uh, this is squared times number number of bars. Okay, so AS 2612.286 is equals to pi over 4 times 25. Okay, that is 25 mm. 25 mm times the number of bars. So the number of bars should be dividing both sides, no? 26612 times 4 divided by uh, pi times, times 25 squared. The answer is 5.32 5.32 okay so that's 6 bars no? 6 pieces of 25 mm uh, bars okay this is our answer this is our minimum next number 5 determine the maximum number of 25 diameter bars required as tension so if we are looking for the maximum so we are going to use the uh, Romax, of course. Okay, our Romax is this one. This is our Romax. Okay, of course, we use the Romax. Oh, that's area of steel. Okay, let's let's do it directly. Uh, pi over 4 times uh, 25 squared times number of bars all over 300 times 618. Okay, this one is the area of the concrete while this one is the area of steel. 6.1639, no, or approximately 6 pieces. St still 6 pieces of 25 mm bars. Okay, so we did not round up now because uh, this is the maximum, meaning uh, we all know that the actual row is less than the raw max so therefore it is safe to use a six pieces no? rather than rounding up to seven pieces that's all for today uh, thank you so much